Jewish boys would think. Like, just think for a second. I snapped him a picture like this. And you could clearly see the makeup streaks for me crying. But I had no tears under my eyes. And he was like, why were you crying? And I was like, mm, when? And he was like, your makeup has streak has tears down it. And I was like, oh, it's probably because I was laying down and my eyes were watering. And he was like, oh, okay. Bitch, what? <laughs> the tear marks would be going this way. <laughs> Not down my face. <laughs> right between the lines, please. <laughs> Crack is cheap. So instead of telling him the real reason you crying, you go and run and tell the internet the real reason you crying. Ain't no real woman on the internet. Any woman that goes to the internet about their relationship problems is a red flag. Just think about it. You gotta be crazy enough to record yourself crying, look at the video and go, yeah, that's some heat. I'm gonna post that. That's gonna give me some follow. You have to be out of your mind. I'm just saying I've never seen a relationship get better after somebody posts about it online. So where did you get that? Where did you get that? The necklace? No, that, that beautiful smile. Hey! Game is game. Some of the best openness to say to bitches. Guys, whenever you match with these hoes online and you want to come off interesting from the jump, then you got to be ready to say shit and not give a damn about how she going to respond. Don't compliment the bitch. Not until you see her or until you fuck her. Until then, just be interesting. Now, you can start the conversation off by saying, hey, dipshit, I'm going to the gas station. Do you want me to bring you something back? She'll laugh with you, joke with you, or block you. Who gives a shit? Or you can say something like, I want to let you know off rip. I ain't the type of dude that you can take home to mama. But I'm damn sure the type of dude you can take home. How you feel about that? And then see what she say. Or you can say something like, are you from Tennessee? Because I'll fuck the shit out of you. And then blame it on your autocorrect. This tickle bitches. Or you can say something like, damn, I can't believe we match. You remind me of a chick I had a crush on. She was a real bitch. She's going to want to know more about the chick or qualify herself as not being a bitch. Or just mention some shit about vibes. Bitches love vibes. Game is game. Well, I'm a former nanny. Mm -hmm. I write poetry and sometimes I make anal porn. <laughs> what kind of a nanny? <laughs> Different ages. Sure, great. I I'm very that nurturing. I, I need some nurturing, so that sounds great. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. What kind of weak, degenerate man would ever date a woman that does poetry? Now, for real though, some women will have butt naked pictures on their Instagram and then say I'm single because men can't handle a strong, independent woman. A long time I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no, uh, didn't like that. You got me. <laughs> a couple years ago, it was all black men need to go to therapy. Black men need to get in touch with their feelings. We win. You're sassy. Listen here, you bubble lid knuckle jacking scoop. <laughs> <laughs> For women in America, we're told our life's purpose is to bear children, but there's no social supports when we do. You have no social support when you bear children? Really? None? None at all. Not a single social support network. Hmm. Next. We're women in America. We could go to jail if we have a miscarriage. Jail if you have a miscarriage. There was only one such report where I could find a supposed woman going to jail for having a miscarriage. But all we have to do is scroll down the article just a little bit and we can see that she took illicit drugs while pregnant. There was meth found in her unborn son's liver and brain. Next. We're women in America. We need permission from our husbands to have certain surgeries. No, you don't. The only such procedure I ever hear feminists argue that they need their husband's permission to get is a hysterectomy. And we see that no state mandates spousal consent for this procedure. So no, there's no such surgery where a woman needs her husband's permission to be allowed to get the surgery. Next. We're women in America. We can lose custody of our children to the same man who abused us in front of them. What custody battle are y'all losing? Mothers have a 90% chance of winning child custody cases. Can you even definitively find a case where an abusive father won custody over the children? Or are you just saying that? Just to say it. Next. We're women in America. When we don't even know how to define what a woman is. If you would have said that, that would have been true. That would have been true. I, 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 I'm, I've seen grown men yeah. weep and cry. I'm talking about gangster bad niggas, cause man, they just can't see they because she got so much control over the baby. I watch niggas give up on life, right. homie. I watch niggas put their head down in shame and walk away from the baby because she got too much control. It breaks a man's spirit and soul. Right. Your son or your daughter looking at you and mama got all to say. 
and you're supposed to be daddy, then you can't be the hero. Right. right. Then you can't be that kid's hero. Mm -hmm. Because mama played a villain and you can't come save your child from that villain. How you gonna be that hero? I kicked this goddamn door in to get my baby. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. A woman weaponizing her kids against their own father because she's bitter is criminal. And that's why I don't advise men to just be sleeping around with women just because they're willing to give it up. Because as soon as you shoot up the club, you have no reproductive rights, you lose some of your rights as a father, and you lose some of your financial rights. And trust me, I know it ain't fair, but until somebody changed the laws, it just is what it is. Today, ask your man if you were transformed into his ex's body, would he still love you? Whatever his answer is, I think you should start a fight. Look at that. She's a doll, isn't she? I didn't know you had that much risk. No cap. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who told her that? <laughs> you can change your life in one year, bro. I swear to God, all it takes is one year of people. Instagram 150k, TikTok we closing in on 200k, bro. All this shit happened in one year. 2023 is my first year making content, and I ain't trying to sound like one of these motivational speaker ass, but bro, it can really change in one year. My life changed in one year, bro. Last year, bro, I was like on my last $200, scraping on my last $200, and now, hey, I ain't rich, but a ain't broke neither, though. You feel me? If you got that one thing that you know you could do, like that one thing in your heart, you like. I just know I could do this shit. 2024, bro, just do it. Lock in, one year is all it takes, just do it. I'm telling you, bro, I've been on that side of, oh, I know damn well I could be a good content creator, but I'm worried about what another is gonna think about my video, what other is gonna say, bro. I'm telling you, they gonna talk about your shit. I'm gonna just keep it on stat with you, bro. They gonna talk about your shit, and your shit gonna be ass at first. But if you work at your craft every day, bro, 2024 could be the year. Cause now I'm on the other side of the shit. I'm doing what I wanna do, bro. I'm not worried about what another can say, and I can tell you, feels a hell of a lot better. Exactly, and it's all about the daily habits. If you wanna have a million subscribers, you gotta think to yourself, what does a person with a million subscribers do every day? They schedule days to make content. They read books about their niche. They look at other people's content. If you wanna look a certain way, what do people that look that way do daily? If you adopt the daily habits of the people you wanna be like, even if you never get as big as them, you'll be closer to it. Also, when it comes to financial success, people have to understand that it's all relative. Most people who born poor are gonna die poor. Most people who are born in the middle class are gonna die in the middle class. So for some people, generational financial success might be going from the poor class to middle class or going from the middle class to the upper middle class financial success looks different for everybody let me know in the comments below if this video was a wrl and give me the hbo special that's a help brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time